feel that I have drank the wine of the New York City night for far too long. I need a shock to the system. I need a reset to the mind. I need to build the interior for the exterior to be remodeled, I think. I think that's why I'm here, is that I know that I need a 360 degree change. A change for me and a change for people around me. I need to sit with myself. Ouch. My presence doesn't affect the family's routine at all. To my surprise, the family awakes at 3.30 in the morning to do the first chores of the day. The two oldest daughters and the oldest son leave for work at 4.30, either by bikes or buggies. The farm consists of six goats, two cows, and about eight or nine horses, and about 200 chickens. It's Tuesday, and the other kids, children, kids are baby goats. The children are still on Christmas break. They go to public school, not Amish. Amish schools are very judgy. Too bad you can't. It's funny, I, if I was in New York right now, I'd be feeling the effects of a New Year's Eve banger. But now it's 25 degrees, I'm in a field walking my dog. I'm about to go build a house and use tools that I haven't used in, in shop class in middle school. You guys ain't done yet? No. Sheesh. <laughs> what are you waiting on? Uh, uh, Try to the yourself. And I'm going to take the back. Oh, I said you didn't take the two of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys got to do this. if the father has many friends, uh, especially since the passing of his firstborn. I think he's been quite a recluse. I wonder if he knows his trust in me it makes me feel like I have worth. Water's off. That's the only bad thing about it is you probably... Turn under, underneath that cap so you can get a hold of that pipe. Get a hold of the pipe? Yeah. Not the cap? No. We need everything. This is even warm. I don't know about this that. Can, this can't. This can't. I don't It's been so long, man. Yes, sir. I'm to do that. Remember how it's dry? A little bit. Left, pull left to go right. Pull right to go left. No, you better not. Is that so? It's pulled left to go left. Left to go left. Right to go right. Both of them stop or slow down. Leo is a skillful shoeman. He does about four to five horses a day. Each ticket priced at a respectable $55. He got his artery whacked. Who did? He did. Somehow, I don't remember. Pulled it back, jerked it back and came forward and poked the nail to my varicose vein. Oh my, you were bleeding everywhere? Yeah. Did you have to go to the hospital? I lost. It's amusing how the father patiently awaits for his horse to be shooed, and it mirrors the anticipation of an Englishman waiting for his tires to be changed. However, the contrast lies in our interaction. Unlike the silent wait at the tire shop, here we engage in lively conversation exchanging stories and getting to know each other. I like that the she turns on the...
cheerful one? Yeah, have you ever heard flowers in spring? It's supposed to be kind of cheery. <laughs> Your face. You missed it. She was like... I haven't felt this tired in so long. It's a good tired. It's a respectable tired. So many puzzles. We get a slow start to the morning, and the father and I embark on a trip to town, ticking off lingering errands before we dive into another day of house renovations. Despite it being the third day, a sense of unease still lingers within me. Maybe it's anxiety, or maybe it's FOMO. The bond between the father and I strengthens with every nail hammered into the walls of this house. In our shared endeavor, I witness his kindness and generosity firsthand. He has a lot of wisdom. I don't know if he knows that. It's kind of woven into the fabric of his handmade clothing that he made by his wife. <laughs> hey, you said one. <laughs> you said you wanted to help. Well, we're not going to have enough room. Yeah, what are you guys going to do about that? Every day is like clockwork. Chores begin at 3.30 a.m. and they do it again at 3.30 p.m. It's a routine ingrained in the rhythm of the farm life feeding the goats and the bovine, collecting fresh eggs from the bustling chicken coop. You did the whole thing, right? The scent and hay and earth floods my senses, in? invoking memories of my previous stay with them. It's not a pleasant smell, the chicken coop. It gives them idea where it goes. Oh, so the small one is for... To trick them? Because <laughs> they know there's an egg in there, so they lay in there. Okay. family always gathers in solemn unity, offering prayers once before dinner and again after, embracing a tradition that echoes through generations. Caught in the currents of contemplation. That's fine, just drop me off the corner there. We don't want to cause a ruckus in your church. Bye guys! to understand that the more time I spend immersed in nature, or perhaps the more structure I introduce into my life, the clearer my thoughts have become.
I mean, I just, I like, I like. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm gonna milk that goat today. Animals here are regarded simply as that, animals. They're viewed almost as machines, producing the life-giving ingredients essential to this family's existence. to squeeze it, not massage it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh, family doesn't allow animals to be inside the house. Uh, my sister, she lives up the road in Topeka, so she lets me keep my dog in her basement, and I pick him up uh, twice a day. I thoroughly enjoy this routine, and I think Tonka Truck does too. God gave to the world was light. We humans tend to think the sun is the most visible form of light, but already in Genesis 1 3, God said, Let there be light, and there was light. It was not until verse 14 16 that the sun and moon were created, and God said, Let there be lights in the ferment of heaven. And God gave two great lights, a greater light to rule. Girls get married and they use electric, but I want to teach them how to do it with a truck.
I've spent nine days in quiet contemplation. I've anticipated that profound insights would flood my mind, yet I find myself still enveloped in familiar emotions. While my thoughts feel clear, I sense that next week I should be dedicating it to nurturing my heart. There's a gentle whisper within me, urging me to delve deeper into the realm of emotions, to cultivate a sense of love and compassion. That's the goal, is it not? Change for the better. For me.